Hi guys, it is just another yuck, blah, depressing winter day. Just another goddamn Monday morning in the end times here in the paradise of Garfield, Texas on this gloomy Monday morning, February 12th, 2018. So I've got to dive into my three-part economic meltdown roundup rant, my marathon rant on every Monday morning. But before I get going in on, on that mess, just want to dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag uh, to see what is on the minds of our alert tribes members on this cold winter day. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to talk about the new set over here. Guys, I, you, you know, I somewhat, well, it's not, I don't know if the word is apologize. Uh, I, I hate to be accused of, of having teacher's pets, but this fellow, all raw Paul, I have no idea who you are, brother. But uh, this all raw Paul dude is right up there uh, with uh, our our friend from Zombie Island, Andy Gartner, for understanding what is going on on this planet and just being able to spell it out for anyone who uh, wants to listen. So I realize that I tend to give Paul. Uh, maybe a little bit too much airtime on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but the fact is the man gets it. Paul, I think I'm, you and I might have to be uh, due for an interview here. I might have to put all raw Paul in as a voice from the Doomosphere uh, interview. And don't take this wrong, Andy, but, uh, but Paul actually understands spelling, punctuation, syntax, uh, on, on, on top of understanding what's going on on the, the planet. I don't have to clean up his, his horrendous uh, grammar and punctuation uh, messes when I'm reading his comments. So anyway, this is all raw Paul weighing in on my doomsday sermon yesterday, that excellent essay that I read from my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Clive Hamilton. And the only time I pulled out the bullshit detector button is when in the middle of this rant about how fucked we are, he just came up with, just in the middle of it, did this some um, nonsensical reference to, uh, to the possible salvation that we're going to turn this train wreck around. Uh, the editors must have put it, it just did not make sense. And I had to pull out the bullshit, <coughs> bullshit detector button and correct Clive that no Clive, there is no uh, salvation. And all raw Paul, I don't know why he starts out with the word yes, but you know, yes or no. Anyway, pick up from where I left off. Is there salvation? <clears throat> Quote, yes, Clive, there is no chance of salvation. I would say no, Clive, there is no chance of salvation. But anyway, I think we know what he's saying. The point is there is no chance of salvation. Nothing can save us and we will be devoured by the consequences of our unlimited growth planet eating. Not only will the ice age be subverted, we will heat the planet 40 degrees Celsius and kill all life on the planet. Conditions will worsen every year for the next 1,000 years. This should be no surprise to anyone. 
an unsustainable species like ours has no other option but to consume and destroy our own environment in order to avoid being wiped out by other groups of humans who will consume and destroy our environment if we haven't finished the job. The logger who cuts down the last tree in Mozambique will just be beating his many neighbors to the punch. If the Mozambicans instantly died off, other humans would just instantly take over their country and cut the rest of the forest down. Inherent human species traits like insane selfish greed, hateful aggression, religious superstition, extre extremism, and corrupt political propaganda prevent rational and intelligent consensus and cooperation. Population control and radical systematic population reduction are absolutely necessary and will absolutely never be seriously considered. Everything we do degrades and destroys the living planet. Everything will continue to get worse and the speed of the downward spiral off the cliff will greatly increase as the Gatlin gun of civilization continues its non-stop missile barrage upon the face of Mother Nature. Humanity is obviously irredeemably ignorant and corrupt, and expedited human extinction must be seen as the best possible outcome, and we should promote it rather than attempt its prevention. The sooner the madness ends, the better. Thank you all, Raw Paul, for summing up 5,000 Humpty Dumpty Tribe videos into one comment. We need to go. Our time is done here. It has been a grand experiment and we have failed. Anyway, with that, I'm going to wrap up uh, this uh, morning's comment of the day. And all raw, Paul, would you please uh, email me privately at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com so we can set up an interview to find out exactly who you are and how you got uh, to the place in the rabbit hole you have gotten to. And with that, I will wrap up this rant and come back with my three-part economic meltdown roundup rant just for how many more examples of why all raw, all raw Paul is dead on the money. Bye, guys. You're still shivering. You have long hair. You're in your little hoodie and the heater is on, and you're still shivering. I don't know what to do for you. Can I just, can I set you in a, in a bathtub of, of hot bath water? One day winter will end. <laughs>